Hi and welcome to Real Magic Review where I've taken it upon myself to help us all stop spending our money on really exciting things that we will never ever use. Now first up if you do like this review or you like the other review that I did, this is uh, episode 2 by the way, uh, please do like and subscribe. I know it's tedious people on YouTube constantly saying that but it does make all the difference when you're in a room on your own talking to a camera and then you see that it kind of makes, makes it feel like you're actually talking to someone. Um, and thanks for the feedback from the first review, it's been lovely. Now first up this week, a book that I picked up a couple of weeks ago, this is Magic Christians, The Top Change, published by Hermetic Press. Okay, so you might have noticed that this is a book, and I'm not one of those people that thinks you've got to learn from books and everything else is bollocks. I love downloads, I love DVDs, um, and I love books, but I'm gonna to be totally honest. I'd say in the last 10 years, since be, especially in the last four years, since I've become sort of a separated dad, and I seem to have a bit less time, um, a lot of my books have become a bit redundant and I love them, they look very pretty and they're lovely and I still buy the things but I haven't really invested that time I used to and by reviewing this it's got me back into that thing of, of learning from books and what I will say, I think books and DVD, it, it all complements each other, it's all brilliant, right? they all complement each other but something different happens when you're learning from a book and it it just seems to go in differently and what i've noticed is it sticks and you know we all say you know we learn so many tricks and then we forget them straight away it's almost as if one comes in and one goes out and i think part of that is because when we were learning from dvds there's that kind of it, it's coming too thick and fast that information you can learn very quickly from a dvd and you can't master very quickly but you can learn very quickly and it comes and, and we kind of get overwhelmed by it and i think something about sitting there with, with something like this book which is about one move well a, a variations of a move like i said something different happens and the process is different and i've found that the, the information's just stuck a lot more i've also found that i've i've, I've enjoyed it more i've got more out of it i've, I've been, because of the investment, the time investment that's got in, I, I tend to have learned more. Ironically, it feels like you're learning slower, but I've learned more in, in that time. You know, everything I've learned from this book is still there. It's not gone. And I think what this does, and what, and what a lot of magic books do, is they, you, you get into that place of, of flow, really. And, and I've been, I've had a couple of times when I've been there till one o'clock in the morning and completely lost sense of time and just been in that, in that moment and, and sort of re reinvigorating what it is that got me into magic in the first place. So, so first up, if, if you're not someone that, you know, if you're one of those people that says, like I used to, I'm not really good at learning from books, I'm more of a visual person, which I am, um, just I would say give it a go and it, it gets easier and, and it, 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 it helps. So there endeth the sermon. Um, now let's get on with the review. So the top change published by Hermetic Press is written by Magic Christian, uh, Christian Stelzel. Uh, lives in Vienna, uh, multiple FISM award winner, award winner at the Magic Castle in Hollywood, and loves awards for creativity and all that kind of stuff. So he's a, he's a guy that knows his stuff, and you can feel that in the book. And you also know this by his, his, his previous publications. He, he published this non plus ultra, which I would so love to read, which is all on Hofzinza, two huge volumes, uh, and another one coming out, he says, uh, this year or next year, and he's working on the DVD. Uh, and, and his, his, his passion for, from reading this and from sort of reading up on him is, is Hofzinza, this, this, this kind of person that we didn't really know much about before, before Christian's books. Um, so he's kind of created a, a, a real person around this kind of legend that we had kind of snippets of. So the title gives it away, really. This is a book on one card move or variations on card move. And the move is the top change. Now, if you are a beginner and you're just getting into magic, the top change is, for me, an endless fascination. And I think for a lot of card magicians. And there's a few reasons for this. First is the effect it gives. It, there are very few moves that give this, this, sort of, this cleanliness of effect. So basically, you show a card, um, you can do a tiny bit of chat, very little of anything, and it's just changed into another card. So there's no dealing, there's no shuffling, there's no card going back into the packet seemingly or anything like that. It's that clean. And this book goes into other ways, you know, changing four cards for four other cards and different variations. But the, the, the overriding thing is that it all has that cleanliness. It all has that, that lack of process. So that's the first thing. If you can do it well, it's, it's the closest to real magic you get with a deck of cards. And as Christian said to me in an email yesterday, uh, he said, there's no, there's no feeling quite like when you sort of, you know you're gonna turn that card, you're clean, you know that the things happen, you're gonna turn it over and you know the reaction you're gonna get. It's, it's just purity, it's beautiful. So that's the first thing. The other reason why it's fascinating, I think, is because 
it's it's not an invisible move okay it's not something that is hidden physically oh yes there are ways of doing it where you can't see it of course and if you see masters of the top change you, you'll be like where did they do it but it's it, that is because of the psychology of it more than the i mean of yes it can you can do it at certain angles like i said like the pass you know like people say oh i've got an invisible pass you haven't got an invisible pass you've got an invisible pass if you put the camera there or if you stand just there or if you put your hands down there in in a normal situation i don't think i've ever seen an invisible pass what makes it invisible is the misdirection and the stuff that happens around it the same with any move so so again if you're there 12 years later like oh, i was trying to get your pop which i still do um it's probably not going to happen the other reason why again i think it's so fascinating is because there's no right way or wrong way of doing this move i don't think it's about your own way and the only real way to practice the top change is to perform it and that's what scares us most because yes you, you sit there and you get the moves right and christian said to me in his email that you can he can teach it in 15 minutes right but then it's a lifetime of faffing around with it and getting it just right and and it's like the game of chess you know you can learn chess quite quickly but it, you, you, you may never master it or you may, you'll always be room for improvement. And one thing I will say about the book straight away is that when I started reading it, you can feel the, the passion bleeding through the pages of this book. You can really feel that this is a book that is born from passion and love. And I say that because I think in the magic world and in, in the business world, there, there's a lot, there are a lot of people creating products for the sake of making money. And listen, look, that's business. I'm not gonna sit here and wax lyrical about that and hold court over the, the evils of all that. But what I will say is that the rule tends to be that the best quality uh, stuff tends to come out of, of passion rather than the other way around. So you, you know, you've got this point, you've studied for years, you've followed your, your passion, you know what you love, and then you have enough to share. And that really, I feel from this book, it doesn't feel like it's been banged together to release for a certain day. You know, you get, you get this whole idea of I've got to get a trick out for Blackpool. So you're frankly scrabbling around ideas to come up. But well, that isn't really how you're going to come up with the good stuff. You're going to come up with the good stuff by finding it your own way and then sharing it. And this is what this book does. It's clearly written by someone who loves this move. And as Christian has told me, he absolutely loves the move. Uh, loves his Hofstins, loves the history and has bought it together in this this really lovely book reading this book that's it feels like you've you've got years of someone's life in, in your hands there and that's that's a real and that's contagious you know that passion is contagious so when you and, and, and it results in more learning because when you feel that you learn from it so this is a really nice looking book it comes in at about 180 pages it's really nicely laid out and the photos are very, very clear. And I know this is a real niggle of mine sometimes when I'm reading a book and I'm reading a description, I look at the photo and sometimes the photo doesn't complement the description or there's a, there's a bit of a, a contradiction and I can't really see what the photo is showing me. It kind of makes it a bit pointless and redundant really. Uh, but these every every photo I looked at, I could see exactly what it was saying to me and the hand positions were very easy. Uh, to mirror in the photos. So so one thing is a lot of work's gone into that. Uh, the other thing is the variations of the book. You look through this book, you, you'll see many variations on the top change. And don't let the, the titles pretty much just describe what's happening for the top change with the pack face up. Don't let the, the repetition of the titles make you think that each effect's exactly the same. Even though these are all variations on the top change, even though the effect is always a switch of a card, the, the overall effect can be quite different. And one thing I'll say about this, or well, another thing I'll say about this, because I've said more than one thing about this, haven't I? Um, is that I didn't really see one variation that wasn't kind of, I didn't kind of think, oh yeah, I kind of want to le learn that. They were all quite, I was quite motivated to learn all of them. And I say that because again, when you get a whole a book on one trick, you tend to look at it. You know, when I first opened this up and I saw all those titles, I, f I kind of thought we're going to have some filler here. There's going to be some filler. Because there usually is. And again, if you get a book of 500 tricks, I reckon 200 of them at least are going to be filler. But I didn't feel there was any filler at all in this book. Everyone was going, oh, yeah, that'd be really cool to learn that. I mean, one of the two things that, that stuck with me, uh, one was, I think, one of the first magic shows I ever saw before I was a pro magician was Jerry Satteritz. And he did a, uh, a four for four top change. So, it, so I think he, he had four cards and he didn't do anything really and turn them over and they were four completely different cards. I think it was in different cards for four aces. And ever since I saw that, I was like, I've got to learn that. And then later on when I learned the top change of four, well, maybe it's a variation on that. And I played around with it, but I didn't really see any, uh, find a process for it until I found this. 
The other one uh, that, that really stuck with me is a face down deck in your left hand. I hope this makes sense. You've got a face up card in your right hand and that face up card is top change for another face up card when you're seemingly holding a face down deck all the time in your left hand, which is incredibly cool. So all things like that were, were there. It wasn't, I didn't really, I don't think I learned any of them and kind of went, what's the point of that? Even the bottom change, and I mean, I've heard the bottom change is a complete waste of time. And now I'm looking at it going, what? No, no, it's not a complete waste of time. Because you can then, you can do like three changes in a row. Anyway, I'm not going to give too much, I'm not going to bang on too much about that. But what I will say, again, no filler. Another bonus for me is that this book comes in at about 180 pages. It's not a massive book. And hang, hang on a minute, because I know that we do tend sometimes to fall into this trap of more is better. You know, I've got this book and it's like a thousand pages. Brilliant. If you're going to read a thousand pages on the top change, stop now. You don't need to do that. Um, and, and again, I, you know, like some of my books, they're, they're justifiably big because they're full of, you know, it might be a lifetime of someone's career and that's fine. But you don't, this is, it feels like an achievable hill to climb. You know, you open it up and you think, I can, I can do this. And I read this cover to cover with cards in hand in a week. And now, obviously, I didn't learn everything. I, I mean, you'd look at my four for four top change, you'd piss yourself laughing. But, at the mo but, but I kind of, I have that stuff to, to play with now when I haven't got the book. And then I'll just reference it. And so it feels like there's something that you, that, that the process you can go through to master this move. And that doability, if you, I don't know if you've ever looked at any kind of motivational theory, the whole, we're, we're more motiv motivated when we can see that there's a possibility. So, and, and we're, as a kind of someone that spent years with cards, most books I open, I can go, yeah, I could, I could, there's a possibility in learning that, but is it worth it? Is it worth the years? With this, I think, yes, with all of this stuff, sometimes I will open a book and, you know, you look at some really advanced Marlowe stuff and you look at it and go, that's brilliant, but I cannot be asked. You know, let's be honest, because that's going to take me three years to achieve an effect that is any is arguably any better than what I'm doing now. So, so it, it does tick that box as well. So, look, I don't want to sound too gushy. It's it's I love I do love this, but it's not perfect, and it is anything. So the first thing is when I opened the book, I noticed that all the photos were of the hands, and that's what you expect in a magic book. But I would have liked to have seen maybe a few photos of, of more of the posture. You know, Christian talks about, you know, the way you stand and, and the looking and the gaze and all that kind of stuff, which is so important to the top change and most of our magic, especially sleight of hand. And I would have liked to have seen a few more, like, you, you know, you see the sort of Tamaris books where he's kind of, you show that where he's looking and all that kind of stuff. I quite like that. So, and don't get me wrong, there are places to find that and you can observe loads of people like David Williamson, uh, look at Ben L stuff. You'll see people doing different types of chop, chop change. So it's not like that you're not going to find it. But for me, it would have been nice for, to just move the camera from the hands sometimes to see see the bigger picture. Uh, and linked to that, I do, I, I mean, I really enjoy theory. So it would have been nice to sort of break the rhythm a little bit. So, so after the initial, you've got this history um, which it, well, that's another bonus. It's got this history of the top change at the beginning, which is really it, it's the short, it's brief, and it's interesting. And I love, I do like the magic history, but I don't want to read seventy-five pages on the history of the top change. So that was that was really nice the way that started. And then we get into the the, the variations, and the variations run through the rest of the book. Um, and I would I would have liked to see maybe just a little bit of a break and a, and a, a bit of a you know what you know the talk about this this theory of, of when you when you do the change you look from here to here. And being a bit more, bit more advanced, I, I could see why that happened. But if I was a beginner and I was a bit earlier on in my journey of card magic, I would have liked to read, you know, what, why is it that when you look there and then you do the change rather than when you look there and when, when, you know, when all that stuff's happening, a little bit more why would have been quite nice. And, and one thing I really wanted to see, and this is not really a criticism of the book, I wanted to see Christian do the top change, you know, like I'm, I'm reading it, this master of this thing and, and uh, I just want to see him do it. And, and no doubt I will at some point. Uh, so it, I think it, I would have liked, this is really, this is really finickety stuff. I'd like a little link, a little link of him doing the top change, but that's what I want. And you can't really publish books based on what person, one, what one person wants. Um, so, and, and I suppose the only other thing is there's a little bit of ambiguity. So, so there's a lot of repetition in the book, which I think is a really, really good thing for learning. Okay. So he, he Christian runs through again. The, the way you're supposed to look when you're doing each, each thing. And that's because I couldn't get that in my head. For some reason, that wouldn't stick as much. I kept getting the timing a bit wrong. Um, and there was a, so there's a little bit of ambiguity in the fact that Christian talks about looking past the deck and up to the spectator. And I, di I didn't really know whether that was sort of looking down at the deck and across and 
know, this is geeky stuff in it, but but I wanted that little minutia. I wanted to kind of see again, maybe an illustration of, of what that meant. But all that said, it's definitely a recommendation for me. This this, this kind of sounds a bit it just sounds a bit wanky. This, but what this book's done for me, uh, and maybe because I was reviewing this and I wanted to review a book that I knew I was gonna gonna like, um, it kind of it kind of awoke that sort of something in me that has been dormant for quite a long time and that is like i said before is that real feeling of flow when you you geek out on a magic book and you look at the minute detail of a move and and there's a school of thought in magic that says you only need you know to master free tricks for a lifetime and all that kind of thing um and and part of me goes yeah you don't need all these variations of the top change but i think there's some there's there's an in, intrinsic and internal joy from, from mastering something like that and knowing more than you have to. And I also think that people feel it. I do think that spectators feel a, a kind of expertise. And yes, you can have one top change or you can have one card trick and do it at every table and look like a master, but there's something about the confidence this gives you, just knowing you've got, and, and you know, seeing those little opportunities when you're, you know, that you could do that top change with the, with the deck face up and just thinking about on your feet like that is what I think, to me, differentiates that expert from the sort of jobbing magician, which again, there's, God, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not criticizing anything here. And there's not one that's better than the other. But if you, if you want to become that, if you want that mastery, and if you want that real feeling of flow and joy from putting a lot of work into something, and then that lovely moment where you take it out and you, and you can then trans, transfer that, that mastery out to an audience, then that's what this book will give you and many books like it. It's a book for becoming an expert. And don't most of us really want that? I do. So there it is. Magic Christian's The Top Change. Um, I want to thank uh, Christian. He, I did email him saying that I was going to review it. And yesterday uh, he, he sent me a couple of emails. Just really, again, just, just... I could just feel that he really cares about this. So do check out his other stuff. And I'm sure that with Nonplus Ultra, he, he goes a lot more into, into detail that I said may have been, uh, that I wanted to see in this. So you never know, you know, send us one of them and they'll review it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this is about 35 pounds, like I said, which is 40, 45 dollars, I suppose. Uh, published by Hermetic Press, available from Christian. Go and check out Christian's website, uh, magicchristian.com, and he's selling Nonplus Ultra there. And Nonplus Ultra is, is, a, uh, is a limited edition, I think. And I think I saw that he still had some copies there. Uh, so if you get it, let us know. Um, and, uh, and available from pr pretty much all Magic dealers. I've got this from Vanishing, but you, you'll get it everywhere, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, so thank you very much. A uh, couple of favours, like I said at the beginning, please like, subscribe. This is a new venture for me and it's uh, something that doesn't pay me, so uh, any, any kind of feedback would be great. Any constructive criticism, um, if there's something you'd like to see differently, uh, I'll do what I can. But please be aware that I'm sort of on my own doing all this and I'm not that techie and I'm kind of putting it all together with it, filming in the lights. Talking about that, uh, I've, I spent nine hours filming this yesterday and at the end of the day, lost everything. Uh, and the other thing is, uh, my own, you know, talking about things that are born out of passion, as I've mentioned in 2013, I created a thing called Card Magic Course where I share every single thing I know about card magic. All the moves I know, 180 videos, uh, over the shoulder shots, professionally shot quite a while ago. Uh, but I've now just updated the whole site. So we've got that initial course on there and I'm going to be adding to the course. Uh, the, the existing members have told me what they want and I'm going to be doing it. So head on over to cardmagiccourse.com. It's 15 quid a month. You go on there. Uh, you'll see a little thing telling you where the original course is and it, it starts off on how to hold a deck of cards but very quickly moves on to you know uh, bottom deals second deals culling pretty much every move you're going to know top changes on there not at that depth but it's a nice yeah, at least you'll see me do it probably badly compared to christian um but have a look cardmagiccourse.com uh be part of it we're going to have a forum there and you're going to create the course so whatever people ask me what to add i'm going to add this is going to be a big project to mine over the next few years uh and uh have a look have a great one. Thank you very much. Tell me what you want to review. And if you want me to review your products, just steve at stevefaulkner.com. Steve at stevefaulkner.com. Steve Steve Thanks very much.